Hey there! I'm Rebecca Shinsky, the Director of Content for Book Riot. I am back this week for another new book preview, and since last week's opening the book mail lightning round was so much fun, I thought we would do it again. I've been traveling more, so I have, like, so much book mail to open. Let's just see what we can get through. Let's see, this first one has packing material everywhere, and it is... The Devil's Chessboard, Alan Dulles, the CIA, and the Rise of America's Secret Government. Do, 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 do. Well, wait, that's UFOs. Um, pretend that that was the X-Files music, I guess. So this is about the CIA. Um, it's by David Talbot, who is the founder of Salon and has written other books, including a New York Times bestseller called Brothers. And it's about America's greatest untold story, the United States' rise to world dominance under the guise, uh, under the guile of Alan Welsh Dulles, the longest serving director of the CIA. Interesting. What's next? Ooh, this is tiny. Uh, this is Felicity by Mary Oliver. Uh, it's a new collection of poems, it looks like. All I know of Mary Oliver is that she wrote that line that everyone likes to quote about what will you do with your one wild and precious life, which is a great line. I should probably know more Mary Oliver. Uh, her newest and perhaps finest recent collection, Felicity, comes out on October 13th. It's a meditation on love, describing the joy, the describing with joy, the strangeness and wonder of human connection. Uh, I've been trying to read a poem every day for the last, well, like, let's be real. I've been trying to do that every day for the last year or so. It was one of my resolutions. I am mostly failing, but this little collection will be a good way to help me get going on that again. Oh, okay. Lesbian Sex Secrets for Men. This is by Amy Jo Goddard and Kurt Brungard. It says the classic revised and expanded. So this is a book that's been out before. Um, I haven't seen it before, so new to me. Comes out on September 29th in this new edition. Uh, for many men, the intimate and elusive world of female pleasure has been a mystery. Lesbian Sex Secrets for Men goes straight to the experts on female pleasure, women who love women. It says it's sexy and accessible. This is a primer that takes on the world of sexual pleasure to get men and women talking and thinking about sex in a new way. All right. Uh, I read Come As You Are by Emily Nagoski earlier this year. It was another great book about female pleasure. Um, that might be an interesting companion to it. Okay, My Father's Guitar and Other Imaginary Things by Joseph Skibel. It says True Stories. I recognize his name. Let's see. This is coming out October 27th from Algonquin Books. Uh, oh, he's the author of A Curable Romantic. I remember when that was out and it was a big thing. This is his first collection of nonfiction. The press release compares him to a literary Louis C.K. All right. Uh, and says this is a colorful and endearing collection that will appeal to readers who appreciate Augustin Burroughs style real life anecdotal ponderings. All right, it's a pretty good cover too. Nice little uh, deckled edge. Deckled edge, that just makes me feel fancy. What's next? Black Ass by A. Egoni Barrett. This is a novel coming out March 1st, 2016. So this one's a while away. It's by Grey Wolf Press. I adore Grey Wolf Press. This is a fierce comic satire set in contemporary Lagos from Nigeria's next literary star. Cool. It's about a young Nigerian who awakes the morning before a job interview to find out that he's been transformed into a white man. In this condition, he plunges into the bustle of Lagos to make his fortune. With his red hair, green eyes, and pale skin, it seems he's been completely changed. Well, almost. There is the matter of his black ass. Okay, can I even say ass on YouTube? I'm not sure. Uh, but Black Ass by A. Agoni Barrett coming out in March from Grey Wolf Press. I'm definitely going to read that. It sounds really interesting. We Were Brothers by Barry Moser coming out October 20th. And this is... And this is a, a powerful and deeply personal memoir on brotherhood, estrangement, and reconciliation. The back has a blurb from Ann Patchett. Pretty fancy. Though our personalities were like oil and water, I loved my brother and he loved me. It just took too long for us to understand it, to admit it, and to try to do something about it. 
Uh, these were brothers who were born of the same parents, slept in the same bedroom, went to the same school, and were poisoned by their family's deep racism and anti-Semitism. But as they grew older, their perspectives and paths grew further and further apart. Like a nature-nurture kind of family memoir. Really fascinating. Ooh, this one's heavy. Looks like another gray wolf. Rails Under My Back by Jeffrey Renard Allen. Look at that cover. That's awesome. Hi. Hi, they can't see you. God, can I help? No. This comes out October 20th. It's a paperback release of a novel that was first published 15 years ago. It was Jeffrey Renard Allen's debut. And uh, I think last year, maybe the year before, he had a novel out called Song of the Shank uh, that really went wide. So this is the first novel that put him on the map and Grey Wolf is re-releasing it. What else? What else? Oh, fun. Dick Van Dyke, keep moving and other tips and truths about aging. All right, I grew up watching the Dick Van Dyke show reruns on Nick at Night. I have a lot of nostalgia for that. This comes out October 13th uh, in Keep Moving. Van Dyke throws out the rules of aging with a charming collection of stories that describe the ways he has dealt with getting older and he gives advice for the tens of millions of baby boomers who will be living longer than any previous generation. Dick Van Dyke is 89 years old. Look, he's still getting it. This is great. This looks like it'll be a good holiday gift as well. All right, we have time for one more. Woo! Captain in Calico by George MacDonald Fraser, an energetic take on piracy and peril. This is a never before published literary find by the author of the Flashman series. Coming out from Grove Atlantic on... Hmm, this is already out. Coming out from Grove Atlantic on September 22nd. So maybe it's been in the bottom of the book mail for a while. Uh, this is a pirate story. That's fun. George MacDonald Fraser is an internationally best-selling author, and this is a swashbuckling adventure novel about a fearless, fearless pirate in the British West Indies. Cool. Okay, the bin is empty, and I'm just going to drown in my pile of envelopes. Don't worry, I recycle. So this concludes this week's book mail lightning round. I'm going to be on the road yet again, so we'll probably do this for a while. Who knows? Thanks for hanging with me. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.